Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Abisola. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make Ophin Salad Soup, also known as White Soup. So guys, come along with me as I walk you through the process of making this very delicious and sumptuous soup. Grab your apron and notepad and let me walk you through the process. So the first thing I'm going to pour in my pot is my chicken and, and this chicken was unalived in front of me so that I call it fresh chicken so goat meat and then I'm going to go for seasoning and salt so preferably you can use local chicken you can also use frozen chicken but I prefer to use local chicken that was you get what I'm saying in front of me so now I put in some water and then I'm just going to go ahead to boil this together so I almost forgot to add my shaki at this point so I had to put the pot again and pour in the shaki so that everything can cook together so guys this is how everything is looking already and then I'm just going to go ahead to boil this chicken and protein all the protein in this pot for at least one hour so guys if you're a first time subscriber on my page thank you very much for coming here and i hope this recipe will make you stay and watch other recipes on my page and if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for coming back so at this point i'm going to pour in some catfish smooth catfish preferably in this for this soup you can use fresh catfish but because me i don't eat fresh catfish i only eat smoked catfish so i prefer to use the smoked catfish for my soup so now i'm going to go in with the yam i'm going to be boiling the yam in this soup guys this yam is going to be serving as a thickener for the soup so we're going to boil and pound after it is done so guys i will leave this to boil again for another few minutes and then once this is done i'm just going to take out the yam and pound it in my blender i don't know if that is correct i can say pound it in my blender right so now at this point i'm just taking out all the yam from this pot of soup because i don't want to stumble on any a lump of yam in my soup so while you are doing this don't forget to like share subscribe to my youtube channel drop a comment for me let me know what you think about this soup let me know if you've tried any other recipe on my page or you want to see a new recipe on my page that you have been trying to recreate so let me know suggest any recipe you would like me to make for you so you can learn one or two so now i'm going to pour the yam in my blender and then i'll just go ahead to blend as i said earlier the yam is for thickener so we need this yam to thicken our soup so guys um at this point i've put the yam in my blender and then i'm just going to cover it and then let my blender do the work as you can see the yam has pounded already <laughs> should i say pounded here yeah. <laughs> okay so now i'm going with pepper soup spice you can decide to use all the spices that i use for this um soup but i prefer to use pepper soup spice because that's instead of every spices that i need so now i'm just going to go in with crayfish and then i'm going to go into its yellow pepper you know the yellow pepper i'm talking about they call it enogu pepper too so i had some water more water because well most of the things we are using for this soup is water we can't use palm oil because that's why we call it white soup so this soup does not require palm oil or uh, vegetable oil now i went in with ogiri so now i'm just going to stir everything together this soup um, i feel is also good for those that want to try that are losing weight because you are not going to be having any palm oil in it so actually it's good for you so now i'm just going to scoop the pounded yam in the soup i know you'll be worried that how will the pounded yam work well, keep calm the powdered yam will dissolve in the soup in no time it's just going to serve as a thickener for this soup so i'm just going to scoop as much pounded yam as i can into this soup and then i will leave it to cook and dissolve in the soup so as i was saying if you're on a weight loss journey this soup is one nigerian food because a lot of people say oh nigerian food how will you lose weight it is this soup is one nigerian food that you can actually use to do that to achieve that because there's no palm oil there's no vegetable oil there's no form of oil in this soup it's just plain white soup so now i'm i'm done scooping my um yam and putting the last bit into the soup and then i'll just make sure i stir together to let it dissolve honestly you just let it dis you do its work before you know it in no time the pounded yam has dissolved in the soup and you will not even know that you added anything like pounded yam to it as you can see now it's already dissolving so now i'm going to go in with utazi leaf that's what i'm using you can use oziza leaf too some people use oziza leaf for their offing salad but i'm using utazi leaf for this so now i'm just going to stir together and let this cook again for another few minutes and in no time my offing salad is ready 
guys this soup is actually very sumptuous and delicious the first time i had it i was like god this is yummy so you can use any swallow of choice you can eat this soup with any swallow of choice but i'm using um, fufu you can go for pounded yam you can go for a bar any swallow of choice wheat just name it oat self you can go for it so that one for weight loss people oats will just be so nice it's so bang you can imagine that so now i'm just going to show you how to eat my oven salad with fufu if this video has been very helpful and you'll enjoy it don't forget to like share and comment and also subscribe to my youtube channel and i promise that you will not regret subscribing to my channel let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below thanks for watching guys see you in my next video bye